In this section, we will discuss the electrical circuits used in stopping the diesel electric locomotive. We will first discuss the stopping circuit of diesel locomotives fitted with Woodward governor under the following headings. Number 1. Stopping of diesel locomotive at idle speed. Number 2. Stopping of diesel locomotive in running condition. Number 3. Stopping of diesel locomotive by low water switch. Number 4. Stopping of diesel locomotive due to low lube oil pressure and Stopping of diesel locomotive by MUSD The Woodward governor fitted locomotive can shut down by energizing the D solenoid valve or the DV. This means that in order to energize D solenoid, all the circuit breakers should be in close position. When the diesel engine is running at idle speed, ERR and all the solenoids are in de-energized condition. As soon as the engine stop push button is pressed, solenoid D valve is energized through cable number 71 and the stop push button via cable number 50T and normally close interlock of ERR. When the engine control switch or the ECS is in run position, ERR is energized and all the solenoids get feed depending on which notch is selected. When the stop push button is pressed, the ERR gets de-energized. The solenoid DV gets feed through cable number 71, cable number 50T and normally close interlock of ERR. Low water switch or LWS is fitted in the water tank of diesel engine for sensing the water level. Whenever the water level falls below the minimum level, the ERR relay gets de-energized by the contacts of LWS and the solenoid DV will get feed through cable number 13, LWS, cable 50F, CPR3 and cable number 50T and the engine shuts down. Lubricating oil pressure is sensed by oil pressure switch OPS fitted in the Woodward governor. Whenever the pressure drops below the preset value, the Woodward governor will ensure that the engine shuts down via the OPS fitted inside the governor. In addition to local engine stop, multiple unit engine stop device is also provided in the locomotive. This is achieved through the MUSD switch. When the MUSD is closed, feed to solenoid AV, BV and CV is disrupted even though the contacts of ERR are closed. This happens because cable number 7A gets disconnected from cable number 16 and the solenoid DV gets feed through cable number 50, TLR resistance, cable number 3E and cable number 3. Now we will discuss the electrical circuits for stopping diesel locomotives fitted with EDC governor under the following headings. Stopping the diesel locomotive by stop button Stopping the diesel locomotive by MUSD Stopping the diesel locomotive due to low lube oil pressure and Stopping the diesel locomotive by low water switch
the diesel engine provided with GE or the EDC governor can be shut down in two ways. That is, either by energizing stabilizing coil or by de-energizing the governor clutch coil. When the governor stabilizing coil is energized, strong stabilizing action takes place. In strong stabilizing action, the pilot valve plunger is forced in the downward direction and this in turn forces the arm A and arm B of the governor to zero fuel position. Thus, the engine shuts down. Stabilizing coil is energized whenever engine is shut down. A. Using stop button. B. Using the MUSD. Whenever the governor clutch coil gets de-energized, arm A and arm B of the EDC governor will be separated. Arm B will come to zero fuel position along with fuel linkage, whereas arm A will be pulled apart with help of wire spring. The governor clutch coil gets de-energized whenever the engine gets shut down due to A. Low lube oil pressure B. No current in SAR coil and C. Low water in expansion tank To shut down the diesel engine through stop push button the current from cable number 71 will energize cable number 50P and further energize cable number 50M through ECR3. This current energizes the stabilizing coil due to which the arm A and the arm B of the governor will come to zero fuel position and the diesel engine will shut down. Diesel engine can also shut down using the MUSD. When the MUSD is pressed, supply to cable 7A will be cut off and ESR1, ESR2, ESR3 will drop and ESR4 alone will be energized in all the notch positions. Due to this, ESR4 normally closed interlock 7150T will open and make contact with 7150V. Now the current in 50V will energize the stabilizing coil via the interlocks of ESR3, ECR3, cable number 50M and the stabilizing coil will be energized due to which arm A and arm B of the EDC governor will come to zero feet position and the diesel engine will shut down. The lubricating oil pressure is sensed by the oil pressure switch OPS. When OPS is at preset value and engine is working, the governor clutch coil is energized via the OPS interlock 7150K. When pressure dips below preset value, OPS operates and the OPS interlock changes position from 7150K. The supply to governor clutch coil is cut off and the locomotive comes to stop position. When OPS interlock comes to position 7150F, the governor stabilizing coil is energized. The low water switch is fitted in the water tank of the diesel engine for sensing water level. Whenever the water level falls below the minimum level, the following event occurs. Diesel engine is shut down due to opening of close interlocks of low water switch or the LWS 
by which the clutch coil of governor gets de-energized and the engine shuts down. 